My name is Phil Lyle. I'm here with writer-director Jonathan Segal of the film Lipstick Up. Relationship is nothing to you. You don't give a morning piss about what I feel for you. What do you want me to do? I want you to love me and be with me. I don't want to lose you to a man. I just want to start with you telling us briefly what Lipstick Up is about. Two girls. Uh, two Palestinian girls who live in Ramallah, they're 17 year old. They're living in a situation where there's a curfew imposed by the Israeli army. They're sick of sitting at home, they're bored, they want to go and see a movie. And the only place they can go and see a movie is in, on the Jewish side of, of Jerusalem. But when they come out of the film, they run into two young Israeli soldiers and one of them takes a fancy to one of the girls. Starts off as a boy meets girl situation and all of a sudden it evolves to something totally different. About 15, 20 years later, uh, one of the girls is married, she has a kid, they live in London. There's a knock on the door and her friend shows up from Ramallah and she's extremely frightened of her and we don't know why. What are you doing here? Is this a bad time? Why didn't you call? And how did you get here anyway? What's the big deal? Is there something wrong with her? She has this need for her. Other men? What impact do you want to leave with audiences when they watch Lipstika? That war is stupid. It costs way too much than we can afford to pay. Life is short and um, this occupation, it's still going on and it has to end. I had read that the Israeli parliament was trying to stop the making of this film. I guess my first question is who exactly funded this movie? The Israeli Film Fund is the major funder of this film. So it's mostly Israeli taxpayers' money. Why was, why was this so controversial? It hasn't come out in Israel, actually. Uh, there was controversy about the film while we were shooting it. It was based on a rumor and, and, and just, I don't know, I went to the parliament to to talk about the film and to tell them what the film is about. Since, you know, it is about two Palestinian women and there's this lesbian relationship, is it risky being an Israeli filmmaker funded by an Israeli fund? Is this a film that is, is hard to digest for them or is it, is it not at all? It, it's not a big thing anymore. Not in Israel, anyway. Uh, and as for the political side of it, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that some Israelis would, you know, feel maybe uncomfortable with the way uh, an Israeli soldier is portrayed. But again, it's, it's, it's portrayed, again, it's not, it's not portrayed in one, one way, one manner. With the bad, there's always a good. With the controversial, there's always something that's not controversial. It's, again, if you go back to this night that this event happens, it's two boys running into two young, lovely girls who went to see a movie. It's, it, it all works by the book, you know? Here's a boy, here's a girl, but something happens, and that something involves the situation that we're in. Yeah, politically, yeah, absolutely. I don't give a flying fuck whether you love me or not. Not anymore. And if people find it hard, it's hard. It's not a, it's not a pretty situation.